This is Twit. What do you tell kids in the middle school years? No frontal lobe, no executive function. And when you knew you did what you did when you were there. <laughs> they, their every move is recorded on social media and posted right. on Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok. Right. All of their relationships with their friends are intermediated by technology. Yeah. Now, yeah. Right. That, yeah. That's there's no the, more passing notes. No. <laughs> no, and that's one of the permanent changes, I think, from COVID, <laughs> is COVID pushed all of the relationships online, yeah, and yeah, only 20% yeah. of it came back to in-person. Like, you will see, we'll have a group of 15-year-olds in our basement, and we're like, we've got a pool table, and yeah. a foosball table, and they're all sitting there texting each in other quietly. In the same quietly. Gum room. Yeah. Yes, I've right. seen that. They're yeah. sharing a yeah. pizza. You have kids? Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I have hard heads, and they <laughs> sit in the same room. High schoolers. And <laughs> one in college. text each other in yeah. the same room. Like, you're sitting right there. My yeah. kids are 30 and 27, so I dodged this bullet. Yes. The internet was there, but they were using AIM. I, I even thought it weird. There, She would do, my daughter who's 30 now would do her homework with music and aim yeah. and a video chat going on and all that stuff. But <laughs> right. this has gone beyond but that. But she didn't have a phone in her pocket no. with a camera. It's Big the right. camera that puts, gets them in trouble. It's the camera. Right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, so when I talk to the kids, there are obviously all kinds of bad things that happen to kids. But the the really horrible, tragic outcomes, right? The, um, you know, I'm not going to name any of the teenagers, but I, I when I teach my class, I talk about teenagers who actually ended up taking their own lives while I was CISO of Facebook, right? Mm. Due to them being exploited oh, in some my way, God, yeah. mm. and those situations are because the kids didn't have anybody they could turn to that they felt that they could talk to once they made a mistake, once they kind right. of slipped up a little bit. That for them there is no outcome other than to take their own lives, mm. right? Um, and uh, and so I think a big thing that I say to the kids is one of the metaphors I have is I, I ask the kids, um, has anybody here ever been really badly hurt? Um, had an accident and one kid raises their hand and I'm like yes and he says oh I ran through a plate glass window once I'm like whoa <laughs> okay that's a good one right like a, a glass door yeah. um was it scary he's like yeah I was covered in blood I was bleeding everywhere and the kid's like ew you know hey, cool mm -hmm. yeah um <laughs> and I ask him so when when you did that were your parents angry at you no what were they they were scared All right and that's what you have to teach these kids is like when yes your parents spend all all the time being angry about you about not turning your homework or not walking the dog or the you know fighting right. with your sister when you're in real trouble your parents want to protect you Boy, that's and, so good and you need that's to great. go if you get into a mis if you're talking to somebody online and you're like i don't think this person is who they say they are or if you've done something like sent a photo to somebody and regretted it it is much better for you to go talk to your parents at that moment mm -hmm. than to try to fix it yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the the worst outcomes are when you try to fix it yourself. And for the the really bad child abusers, they know that. And so they create a Stockholm syndrome, a, a, you know, a, a fake relationship where it's you and me against your parents. There's a horrific story just happened in Santa Rosa up here. Mm -hmm. Teenage girl catfished. Yes. Guy yep. figures out where she lives, Ooh. comes to her house, kills her mother and her grandparents and abducts her and drives off with her wow horrific yeah. story because she was catfish the uh, right that's like the worst worst outcome the is worst when you have outcome. in person mm -hmm. yeah. abuse they by the way they 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 caught him and they she escaped safely thank god yeah. uh, and they've got the perpetrator but her parents uh your yeah. mom and her grandparents are gone yeah uh horrific story right and, and then, that's catfishing that's posing right so as it's somebody catfishing else. and then the, where catfishing often goes, where it becomes really harmful, is called sextortion, where you trick a kid into giving you a naked photo, and then you leverage that into more and more control over their right. behavior. A parent, right. good friend of mine, just happened to a 17-year-old. Yes. It's extremely common. Um, and that's where you need to teach your kids, one, you know, it, you don't want to be victim blaming, but you also want to teach kids, like, you don't send naked photos to your friends. Ever. 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 It, it's like... You have to teach, one, you have to teach teenage girls that teenage boys are idiots, right? Like, I don't think they understand how <laughs> mm -hmm. dumb we were, and yeah. maybe still are, but certainly how dumb I was when I was 15 years old. Yeah. They have no, and teenage boys have no impulse control, None. no ability. And so you have like these, nobody dies, but it's a big deal if you end up with a naked photo being distributed with friends and it's technically yep. distribution of child sexual abuse material. Technically, a bunch of those kids are committing a felony. Well, but the next extortion could go far worse. Right. But if 
Right. That's bad. And then if it goes worse that that person that you shared the image with is an adult who's an extortionist, then they will turn that into a multi-month hell. And so we had this guy who- That's where you get suicides. That's, that's where really you get suicides. And, and we had this guy who we called the worst man on Facebook, um, which is like a pretty high bar. Right? Yeah. Right. Uh, right. And uh, we spent two years tracking this one guy because his OPSEC was perfect. He never made a mistake. He never used a real phone number. He never used a real IP. He was on tour all the time. Mm -hmm. And he- had he approached thousands of teenage girls um, he it turns out later we find out he was tracking how he was approaching them and what approaches were statistically more right. successful right. Wow. and then he would he would usually what i guess was successful was he'd make them think of like oh i know you sent a nude to your boyfriend i was able to hack it why don't you send me another one and then this will be over with he doesn't have a real nude he doesn't have anything but four percent five percent of the girls it's might believable. believe it right right Conversion um, rate. and so that's the kind of situation that you need to teach your kids if you get that message, we're not going to be angry at you. Even if you did send your boyfriend nude, you can come talk to us and we can help you out and help you out of this problem. No. And instead, you talk to those the parents too? It's good that you're, Alex, you're giving this sorry. to these eighth graders and, and, and young kids, but is are you speaking to the parents as well and speaking to just adults in general? Because yeah. a lot of times people my age and a little bit younger are a bunch of know-it-alls and don't know when it comes <laughs> yeah. to the security and stuff. And we're going to talk to when I, when yeah. I It's talk not just know-it-alls. It's, it's just... So, I mean, I talk to people on the radio all Ignorance the time. Ignorance is another thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm talking about the people that are know-it-alls when I try stuff. to explain yeah. things to people about even just password sanitation. Yeah. Oh, no, they look I, at I me as if I'm crazy. talking out the side of my neck yeah. and I'm going yeah. overboard over yeah. security. What do you, What is your approach? We do talk to parents. I, part, I mean, part of what you talk to parents about is create that open line of communication. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to have the expectation until your kids are out of your house, they have no privacy on their phone. I mean, it sucks to say it. Oh, I like, know that. You know that, right. And so spot checks. And what will happen is, is we've had this with our kids where we say only one of them has a full-time phone. Right. It's time for a phone check. And they will preemptively admit something. Now, so far, everything that's been admitted <laughs> wow. has been kind of small potatoes, <laughs> yeah. right? Wow. But that's, you want that. You planted the seed. Yeah, you planted the seed. Yeah. And you create a situation where like, they now have permission almost to share with you, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I think for parents, part of the problem though is the technical controls parents have suck. Right, like the 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 good thing that Apple had, Apple's finally made some progress here, and I think Apple's the company that has the most opportunity, at least in the U.S., mm -hmm. because they dominate, you know, teenagers. Right, um, is you know they now have the ability to classify photos as they leave your kid's device to see if they're naked photos right. and to stop them from leaving the device. This was very controversial was, when yeah. Apple proposed this. Well, there's yeah. two different things. There's a part where they're actually scanning your photos. Yeah, as yeah on the device right and i oppose that much so much i wrote a new york times op-ed right so i, I wrote that. Near, that part but at the same time they announced something i think is great which is you could say this is a kid they should not send naked photos this is totally in the hands of parents this it's is totally not going back to the corporate exactly. or anything yeah. and right and it never calls the cops yep. it never does anything it doesn't even even tell the parents right it just stops the photo from being sent right. And, and it, it even warns kids, are you sure you want right. to send that? It's good. It's actually, right. I think, well done. Right. You know? And I think those kinds of interventions- Parents have to turn that on, by the way, should mention that. Yeah. You have to turn it on. It's in, I think it's under screen time settings. Yeah. And yeah. and so I think setting the screen time settings. So the other thing for kids is teenagers want to be on their phones all night. They don't get any sleep. And so <sighs> having the phone turn off at nine or 10 PM, whatever That's you- That's good for adults. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think so. I hate to tell you. No, I, I'm, I'm bad at that, yeah. but at least I could fix my problems with my kids. <laughs> right. Um, right. You know, doing the screen time limits and then having- having no expectation of privacy. And I'd like to see companies get more aggressive about those kinds of limits on, hey, it looks like you're sending a naked photo. Is that something you really want to do? Here's some things that you need, you should read first All right. before you do that, right? And to at least like, because again, you said no frontal lobe, right? Like their decision-making is Just really Just create weak. a friction. And yeah. so create that friction that they have to think about it, mm -hmm. I think is a, a good thing. Hey folks, I'm Ant Pruitt and I have a question for you. How do you think your hard work and team with the Club Twit corporate subscription plan, of course. Show your appreciation and reward your tech team with a subscription to Club Twit. Keep everyone informed and entertained with podcasts covering the latest in tech. With the Club Twit subscription, they get access to all of our podcasts ad free. And they also get access to our members only Discord, uh, access to exclusive outtakes and behind the scenes footage and special content like the fireside chats that I enjoy hosting. Plus, they also get shows like Hands on Mac, Hands on Windows, and the Untitled Linux Show. So, go to twit.tv slash clubtwit and look for corporate plans for complete details.